Hello everyone, welcome back to Data Analysis YouTube channel. In this particular video, we will be going through how to do dynamic sum if s. So in our, one of the previous videos, we went through how to do sum if s and count if s and average if s. In this particular tutorial, we will focus on how to make the sum if s to be dynamic. Now, um, the sum if s formula deals with specific criteria, okay? But how do we make the sum if s formula to be dynamic so that we can make multiple selections and get the sum for the multiple selections that we have made? So welcome back to the YouTube channel if you are a returning subscriber and if you are new to this YouTube channel. Please subscribe and give us a thumbs up if you like the contents. And of course, um, hit the notification bell so that you will get a prompt whenever we upload new videos. This YouTube channel is dedicated to explaining everything about Microsoft Excel. So if you know um, nothing about Microsoft Excel, you are in the right channel. Um, thank you for stopping by. So what we're going to do today, um, like I mentioned, dynamic sum if s, and let us get started. So let us assume that we have, um, of course, um, multiple criteria. Um, one of them will be the months and another one will be the, um, let me say, the amount. And in this place, let us say we have June 2021. And for here, we have the sales, okay? So if we want to, of course, um, if we want to get this, uh, let me do this, align it to this side. And of course, if we want to get the, the sum, right? What we just need to do is we do sum if s and open the bracket. And we get the sum range, of course, it's the sales right there. And then the criteria range one. We get the month. And then the criteria one will be this one, the month, right? And then we close the bracket. And this is what we have. So let us assume a situation where we want to know, because now we have different amounts. We have the sales amount and then we have the budget amount. We know the sales for June 2021, okay? And this is what the sales for June 2021 is. But if we want to also know what the budgeted amount for 2021 is, this means we need to do another sum if s. But is it possible to make our um, sum dynamic such that we can just um, make selections and we are going to see the results based on the different selections we have made? This is actually possible. So the first thing we are, we are going to do is that I'm going to make this bold because control B. I like to make it bold. And for the months, let us do a validation list so that we can just select from the drop down very easily. Here, data validation. We get a list. And of course, the source we're going to have June 2021, July 2021, and August 2021. Okay, so we have this here in the drop down, and we are going to create a, a data validation list for this as well. And here we make the selection list, and then the source will be this and this. And okay, so now we have this. Okay, so we can, of course, sell, make the selections from the drop down as we deem fit. I would like to just um, format this to look like a text field so that we know that we are about to put in figures or 
we are supposed to look for it. So let us let me do this quickly. Choose this one, and I take it there. And I take this one here. And that. Okay. So. Nope. I text view this is good to go. And I'm going to give it a light gray shade at the background. And this is my text field. So it's looking like a text field um, box. And we are going to do the, um, put the response for the dynamic sum if S right in this box. So this is what we do. Beginning from the sum if S formula that we already have, all we need to do is we need to um, change the sum range. We need to make the sum range to be dynamic. So that whenever we make selections, okay, the it will move between sales and budget because this is what we want to make dynamic. So how do we do this? We do this using the index match functions, which is very popular for um, giving dynamic for you for being used for dynamic lookup um, activities. So um, we start with the index. And this is our array. So I make these selections for the array. Control shift down. And I've selected my entire array. And we don't need the row number. So we go to the next argument, which is the column number. And this is where we are going to put our match function. And the lookup value for the match is this, okay, because we want the figures, we want the columns with the figures to be dynamic. So that is the lookup value. And of course, this is the lookup array. And we want an exact match. So we are going to put zero and it's going to be two brackets. And we click on enter. So from here, just like I'm going to show right now, I make the selection for budget and this has changed. And I come here and make the selection for July 2021. We can see that this is the budget for July 2021. And let us see what the sales for um, July 2021 is. So this has changed, right? So this is how to get a dynamic um, summifest and to create like a small dashboard so that when you make selections based on the selections that are made, you get the accurate response from Microsoft Excel. So this is basically how to do a dynamic sum effects. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you're new to this um, channel, please subscribe and give us a thumbs up and also drop comments in the comment section um, regarding what you want to see in the next video. And of course, you can reach out to me on my social media handles and also by email. Um, if you want a customized one-on-one um, -on -one lecture, and we are soon going to launch our masterclass on Microsoft Excel beginner um, lectures, intermediate lectures, and also um, advanced Microsoft Excel. Thank you so much and see you in another video. Bye-bye.